going to talk about the legend of the Tama Bell Brass snare drum today. Now, Tama came out with their Bell Brass snare drum in 1980, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the first run of this snare drum had the patina finish, which is non-polished, non-gloss, and the shell was also slightly oversized. So what that means is when you put a drum head on there, it doesn't really fall right on there. It just it takes a little work, kind of like old Gretsch does. Many people say that there was also a five millimeter offering, but there are so few of these out there that it's hard to substantiate these facts. I sure haven't seen one. These drums are absolutely legendary. Why? Well, if you think about some of the most iconic recordings, the first one that comes to mind is Smells Like Teen Spirit, or the whole Nevermind record by Nirvana, and I believe a lot of Guns N' Roses and Blink-182, and these countless uh, recordings were done using the, this drum. And there's so few of these out there that it's not like you could just go buy one. You don't really see them that much. There's so few of them, because in 1980, this drum was crazy expensive and it's crazy expensive now. They have done other versions of this bell brass. I think it was, this was only done for a year or two, and then they went to a more polished finish, but the shell was slightly different. And then, of course, they changed the lugs over the years, and then they even offered bell brass hoops for a spell that had the profile of a marching drum hoop. Some people just love these. These are also no longer available. And they've reissued the second generation a few years ago, and people were just lining up to buy this drum. We sold a ton of them, and they sounded outstanding. The question is, did it sound like the original one? And that seems to be a hot point of debate, and that's really the purpose of us doing this video, is allowing you to hear what the original one sounds like in our Drum Center of Portsmouth environment. So this drum's a 14 by six and a half, has the internal muffler, which I love. It's got the extended snare wires, which I think also plays a, a, a part in it. Those are two things I would really love to see come back in snare drums is uh, internal mufflers and extended snare wires. This particular drum is not for sale. It's here on loan. I've used it in recordings before. And what's interesting is I was in a studio session. We were doing, 
I think six songs that day and it was for a few different artists and when I, I was really apprehensive because I set the drum up and in that particular room I remember playing and going yeah this drum doesn't really sound the way I wanted it to well we had lunch we came back we listened to playback and I was like oh okay <laughs> this is awesome and then of course once uh it was put into a bed of music that's when i really noticed the difference and of course that's the whole point how do these drums sound in the bed in a bed of music how does it sound against guitars that's the whole purpose of why we're doing this right that's likely why the drum is as iconic as it is because it sounds great in music there's plenty of other snare drums out in the market we sell a ton of them and there's many thick shell snare drums that will really come super close one thing I just love though, is that I just love that whole mythical element to this drum. And it's just a sound uh, or it's a chase that people have. And I want people to be able to have that drum. So perhaps this video might ruin things for you or it'll make things even better, who knows. But we wanted to have you get a chance to hear it uh, and decide for yourself how you feel. If you haven't gathered, something that's very important to me is the sound of drums. I'm absolutely obsessed with the way drums sound in recordings. I'm obsessed with miking techniques. I'm obsessed with how a song can sound completely different with based on the snare drum that you choose. So I know there's drummers out there that like, like a lot of these guys that have these marching chops and, and, and it's like, they don't mind if they're playing on a countertop or a snare drum because their technique is so amazing. And then there's people that will just hit a drum once and go, you know, they want to really examine the, the sound in it. And that's kind of where I fall. I just, I'm really focused on the way a drum will sound. So this is really a, a, a rewarding for me to be able to present to you. And if you're looking to dial in your snare drum sound, give us a call because we speak snare drum here and we would be happy to help. So please leave a comment below how you feel about this snare drum or snare drums in general. And also be sure to subscribe, click that subscribe button and you will be notified when we post new videos like this. Thank you for watching.